Hello everyone, welcome to day 9th of April Lead Code Challenge and today's question is verifying an alien dictionary. In this question, we are given a particular order in which the alphabet appears in that particular language. For example, in English we have 26 characters and A occurs before B, C, B occurs before C and so on. Similarly, with each example, we are given a particular order in which the characters occur. What we need to tell whether the set of words that are also given as part of the input question are lexically graphically sorted as per this order. For example, bus occurs before cat, cat occurs before dog. So this is the lexicographically sorted order by which bus, cat and dog abides as per the English language. So we need to return a similar kind of a thing where these words that are given as a list should abide to this order and if that is the case we return true otherwise we return false. So without much ado let's look at the presentation that I have created for this and let me just start the slideshow. Verifying alien dictionary and this is my alien and this is the dictionary. So let's get started with the algorithm. The first thing that we are going to do is to create a map wherein uh, each character starting from the 0th index will be assigned a weight. So let's assume that this is our order H, L, A, B, C. So H gets 1, weight L gets 2, B gets 3, A gets 3, uh, 3, B gets 4 and C gets 5. And let's try to iterate uh, this order across various test cases that have been listed here. So the first one is, the first word is H L L O A 4 times C. So let's pick up H, the first character and A from both the words. So we get H and A and let's check the weight in the map. So a weight of H is 1 and that of A is 3. So 3 is greater than H which makes sense. So this word is lexicographically sorted, hence we, this, it will return true. So let's look at the second example. Here we have H L L O and let's assume O is also there in the dictionary and its weight is 6. So let's iterate over all the characters. So first we get H, H both is same. We don't need to do anything. Move ahead to the next iteration. L, L uh, both are similar. Uh, we don't need to do anything, move ahead, again LL, similar, let's move uh, again to the next pointer, we get O here and A here. So O, the weight of O is 6 and that of A is 3, so A points to 3. That means this weight, this string has a higher value than this string, which is which inverses the lexicographical order. Therefore, since the weight of this string is higher than this, we return false. So this is a negative case. Hope you understood that whenever the left word is of higher weight, we have to return false. And whenever the uh, left word is of lower weight, we have to continue the iterations. So let's move ahead to the next test case. We get H L L H L L O. So the first three characters are same so you keep on iterating and then you'll observe that the first word has already exhausted although we still have characters left in the second word that means the second word is of higher weight than the first one which makes it a positive case and we return true so let's talk about the inverse of this case so here the left word is of higher weight therefore we return false because this one is lower value and it is the inversion of the lexicographical order. So now look at the examples that are specified in the question. The first one is this one. We have words like hello and lead code and let's iterate uh, as per the order. So let's extract the first character. The first character is H. The weight of H is 1 and of L is 2. So 1 and 2. So one the 1 is lower than uh, 2, 2 is greater than 1 that means this string has a lower weight than lead code and the order is lexicographically sorted. We return true. Let's move on to the next iteration. Here we have word, world and row. So let's start the iteration. Let's start it by comparing 
world and world first and then we will continue the iteration so these are the first two contenders so you you see w you see w move ahead then it's o then again it's o you move ahead then we have r then again we have r you move ahead and then let's check we have d here and l here so what is the weight of d and l in the map so this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 and this is 5 so d has a weight of 5 and l has a weight of 4 uh, which makes world of higher weightage than world as a result of which this is lexographically unsorted so we'll turn false from this case and let's talk about the last case we have apple and app so you start the iteration uh, starting from a a characters the first three characters are same and then you see l and the word has like already exhausted you return false for that case because the leftmost string is of higher weight since it has more characters there than the rightmost string also that makes this as a negative case and we return false i hope you got the context let's see how can we code this up so the first thing that we are going to do is to create a map and the map will be of character comma integer and let's call it map and let's initialize it to a hash map let's iterate over all the characters that are given in the a string named order so char c order to char array and map dot put c comma the weight so let's initialize the weight starting from 1 and let's put the weight there and increment the weight for the next iteration so far we are good and let's write a helper method uh, that will tell us whether a string is of higher value or lower value as per this map so we'll create that helper method for, but just let's fin finish the algorithm for is alien sorted what we are going to do we'll iterate over all the strings starting from the 0th index up till words dot length minus 1 and we'll be taking strings in pairs so the first string would be between words of i and the second one would be i plus 1 and we'll be comparing these two strings if helper we'll pass in the both the strings to the method and the map if this helper method return false we'll return false as an answer otherwise we'll return true after all the strings have been all the pairs have been verified so let's write the helper method the return type would be boolean and let's call it helper let's pass in the string s1 string 2 s2 and the map so we will be writing the helper method by the two pointer approach i1 equals to 0 integer i2 equals to 0 and while i1 is less than s1 dot length and i2 is less than s2 dot length if that is the case we'll keep on iterating across both the strings so let's check if both the characters are different if s1 dot char at i1 is not equal to s2 dot char at i2 let's extract the weight their weights from the map if map dot get s1 dot char at i1 is of lower value then map dot get s2 dot char at i2 if the rightmost one is of higher value then the leftmost one will return true that's a happy case otherwise will return false 
and once we have iterated through all the characters don't forget to increment the two point the two iterators and once you have iterated uh, through all the characters in the string we can we are safe to return true here there is just one corner case for example s1 turn is hello whereas s2 turns out to be hell in that case i1 and i2 will exhaust at the same index that is 0 1 2 3 and we need to compare the string lengths if s1 dot length is greater than s2 dot length we should return false and let's go and submit this code and let's see what happens accepted the time complexity for solving this approach is order of n square because you are iterating uh, through all the words uh, in a for loop uh, one loop is governed by this for another one by this this loop that is basically iterating or comparing our uh, two strings together uh, thanks for watching the video hope you enjoyed it also the space complexity is constant because there are fixed set of words that are there in the map thanks for watching it hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel